and welcome to another EF2000 Tacticom Let's Play video. Today we're not going to play EF2000, we're going to reminisce the past because EF2000 is nearly 20 years old. EF2000 is a combat flight simulator video game that was released in 1995 for the PC. It won the Simulation of the Year Award from Computing Gaming World in 1996. It was ranked the 42nd best video game of all time. And PC Gamer US awarded a 88% score in its review. It was developed by a company called Digital Image Design and published by Ocean Software. The simulations that came after EF2000 was F-22 Air Dominance Fighter and F-22 Total Air War. Now I've managed to dig around the internet and on YouTube there's a video advertising EF2000. I don't know if this was aired on the television but here it is and remember this advert's nearly 20 years old. Wow, it's spooky to think that real events in the world could be predicted by this game. Okay, if you want to see the full clip, then do go to the link that I put on that video. Okay, next up, in the next small clip that I've got, it was aired in a program called Store at the End of the World. I think it was aired on Channel 4, probably a couple of years after 1995 when EF2000 was released. It's got an interview with Martin Kenwright, the developer or the main chief at Digital Image Design. <gasps> wow, so this is the face of EF2000. Uh, Martin Kenwright, nice MD. What does MD stand for? Oh, Mangling Dictator. Yeah, the dictator at Digital Image Design, a company based just outside Manchester. Better known as DID. DID, okay, smashing. Um, EF2000, as I said, it was a massive success. Um, what's the history of the company? Well, I set the company up back in 1989 from my bedroom of all places. Um, just basically turned up at publishers one day, uh, game design, they signed me up, the game came out a year later. And which was? F29 Retaliator. Excellent. And it was a big hit. And, uh, and that all started to roll. Strength. Yeah. Well, where did it come from, the initial interest for you in, in military flight simulators? Um, Okay, finally we're looking at a the box of the game that I've got. And uh, I first remember getting this game when it first came out in 1995 and I thought I looked at the back of the box and I thought this was just amazing and even today in 2014 the graphics look still quite good and inside we can see the manual. It's nearly 300 pages of reading and study and it's got combat maneuvers, breakdown of all the weapons and arms and airplanes and all the avionics. So I mean what game today you can buy in the shops that give you a manual that thick? You're lucky to get a PDF file these days. So and here's the disc. Whoops. So yeah. I won't be throwing that away. Let's put it back in the box. So, EF2000. Amazing. And the next clip I got here is of the strategy guide. I haven't got the full one, it's like the sample one. And uh, it's got much more in depth information. It's got graphs and uh, I suppose when I was much younger 20 years ago I didn't really understand what I was reading 
Okay, they're not making these kind of games anymore because A, they're probably too realistic and we don't want enemy military forces practicing for free and two, people just aren't interested in reading a 300 page manual to play a game these days they're just interested in Angry Birds and uh, Call of Duty I'm afraid well, that's that so that was a blast from the past I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching until next time, bye bye